Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and I am working on a knife here today I recently had this knife come in this is a buck 124 you can see this is a fairly large blade made by American Knife Company buck and I have destroyed it this knife belongs to a customer it came with these black micarta scales and aluminum Pummel, as you can see there but I've carved all that away um, just a heads up these knives come profiled really poorly from buck notice how there's very there's almost no contouring on the bottom and top of this handle it just comes out and down out and down so the side profile is like this it rounds very little for your hand so you always have that hot spot edge running down either side of the scale check this out so just to let you guys know I mean that edge right here that's what you're gonna be working on when you're using this knife so we're gonna be correcting that uh, building a new set of scales for getting rid of the aluminum pommel here so we're gonna have a full length scale and uh, we're going to be doing a tang filing right from stem to stern here so that's what we're going to decide now that's what we're going to draw up design and that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about so I've done quite a bit of tang filing at this point quite a bit of different stuff and uh, it's a lot of fun it's always a lot of fun to do them but it can be a little bit tricky and daunting to start off partly well I, I've seen lots of cool stuff online and uh, a lot of different designs and it almost seems like like black magic or something because guys get so crazy with the designs you almost can't pick out what they're doing so I just want to show you guys how I go about designing like this so let's look at what we have here we have one long blank sheet of steel that's what we have to work with and it's kind of like that cliche thing where you talk about sculpture carving where the material is already there and you need to find kind of what's inside of it unlike with m most of my work you're adding materials and you're building something with this you're only removing material so we have to come up with what we want to do now in the past I've done a lot of a lot of these type of designs where you leave a rib of steel sort of winding kind of snake like all the way down the spine now this is a really nice way to start tang filing uh, and it's just it's a beautiful design you could use this over and over on every order I've never had a customer disappointed with it because it looks so clean especially if you do a good job good clean lines try to get everything symmetrical and basically what you're doing is I start off by cutting this notch here all the way down and then I just mill out a little section like that and just sort of blend it in I do the same thing here I cut out sort of that notch on an angle and then I blend it in with the side and you're in, you end up with this beautiful swooping design now for what I'm gonna do today on this one I'd like to try something a little different I think I'm still gonna base it on that swoop design but I think maybe instead of blending them in I'm gonna do something like this so we still have those offset holes or scoops like that and then I think I'm gonna keep this blank space it gives us a little bit of room to do maybe something maybe a cut design or some, something like that a little more intricate a uh, little more work but I think we'll end up with a cooler product it, almost like a little bit of vine work I think so yeah I think I think that's what I'm gonna do something like this so you're getting a little bit of sort of tribal vine work or, or something like that so let's apply it to the knife now you're gonna to want to be able to mark out a pattern 
on the spine of your knife here you need to do some markings so I would recommend degreasing out a little bit of bright cleaner here is what I mostly use but you're gonna want that nice and chalky dry so you can mark on it now another tricky thing to deal with here is spacing of course like I said if we're cutting those loops those offset loops at what increment so that can be a little bit tricky this is a, a big spine this is a long distance so we don't need to do it quite as fine you don't need them as close together I usually do a loop centered on one centimeter I'll probably go a centimeter and a half with this piece just because we have so much distance to cover so I'll just mark sorry I'm off already let's clean up that bit of marker and we'll go centimeter and a half increments so that's 1.53 4.5, So we did up to the pummel. This is kind of a unique case because we have the pummel here breaking the design. So it's not a big deal, but something to be mindful of. Do the same thing here. So 1.5 polished steel here. 3. So what we need to do here now is make cuts along these lines. But remember you can't do straight down cuts. You can't do siding cuts. So we have to do roughly 45 degree cuts. And we have our marks and we want to do uh, we want to offset, so we're going to cut every second one on this side and then go back and cut every second one on this side opposite. So we'll end up with a beautiful sort of a start to a wave all the way down. Now we used to cut all of those notches with files by hand. Then I graduated to using a Dremel. Now I've graduated to using a small wheel attachment on my grinder here. Of course with each increment moving up there's a, <laughs> more probability that you'll cause issues, damage the product and things like that, but I've become pretty competent. So you may want to stick with files if it's your first time, that way things are really slow and you can watch things unfold as you're doing it, but I'm going to be using the small wheel attachment here. Okay, so there we go. We have just those plain notches all cut on centers. Let's get rid of that marker. So that's cool just like that. You could just, just leave it at that. That looks really cool, but we're going to do a little bit more. So now is where they the other fine craftsmanship comes in, we get to make some marks for what we want to do. And this is going to be pretty much all file work now. Maybe Dremel work, so... So I'm going to offset with little cuts like this. Just like this. And of course, this is all just an artist's expression, we'll say. So you can have fun with this part. Whatever you want to cut in there, just remember, the more intricate you make this, the tougher it's going to be to cut out. So
so that is the pattern that I pulled out today. I just gave it a little buff there on the buffing wheel on my, my buffer. So just a felt wheel with a little bit of compound. There's a side profile on both sides. I'm happy it looks pretty even. And it's a nice little pattern, wouldn't you say? Let me know if you think so down in the comments. But that is how the Buck 124 looks. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was educational for you. It's not that difficult to file a tang. It takes some patience, takes a little bit of planning. But like I said, what I would recommend is draw out a bar on a piece of paper like I did and plan out your design. What do you want it to look like? And then where will you need to remove steel to create that effect? And uh, here I got exactly what I wanted. So very pleased. It may take a little bit to uh, get everything clean, but very happy with it. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. If you'd like to see more stuff like this, subscribe. If it's your first time here, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.